Hello everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with a super exciting JLPT N4 video. We are talking about, we're doing the listening is what I'm trying to say. I didn't think through what I was going to say first. And because I didn't think through it, I'm going to give a hodgepodge plug for all of the links below that inform you that you can indeed ask me questions in numerous different social media sites. And hey, while you're there, how about you share this video and get me a few extra viewers, subscribers, and lovely people. You can like this. Uh, if you decide to support me, there's numerous ways, and they're all in the video or the, the description below. Uh, subscribe star and Patreon will get you bonuses if you do it that way. All right, hey, let's start. Um, as you can see, this sentence right here gets cut off, and the reason why I'm letting it be cut off is because it it's just too small for the a normal YouTube video if I don't let it get cut off. I would have to zoom out, making each one of these little letters smaller, and then you're going to miss the script, if that makes sense. So what we're going to do instead is I'm just going to try to pause after each sentence. We're going to translate and look at the quote-unquote new N4 grammar that we haven't seen in the N5. And uh, I'll explain that, and then we'll just keep on going chunk by chunk, and hopefully, and the new vocab that I think we haven't seen in N5. And then hopefully, and then we'll go through one more time and I'll highlight it as we go. All right, here we go. I do believe, I do believe. Oh. Nothing new here. Uh, that is a boring sentence that we've seen in the N5. Here is the continuation. 留学生は小学校に何を持っていかなければなりませんか? Great, yeah. A ryugakusei is an over is an exchange student, an overseas student. Uh, Shogakko is elementary school. Ni nani o motte ika nakereba narimasenka. All right, so this is uh, if you watched the previous video, you've seen this nakereba narimasen, uh, which means you must do something, you should do something. I broke it down in the previous video, so I'm not going to do it too much there. Uh, just be aware that we have a negative followed by a conditional followed by narimasen. It's unbecoming to not do something. And the thing that you should not do is, or the thing that you should do, it, 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 it means we're using negatives, but we have two negatives, so we end up with a positive. So the thing that you should do, you must do, that the student must do is mote bring, uh, hold iku, and this is to carry. Mote iku is to carry, to bring what mustn't what 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 must the exchange student bring to the elementary school and it looks like we have a really long really long monologue by m <laughs> uh so let's go let's see if there's anything interesting going on here えー、来週南小学校へ行って so, so the guy's thinking, next week, Minami we're going to South School. Uh, schools in Japan have really boring names, like really boring names. They're just named after the city, and sometimes they're just called city name number one, number two, and number three. Very boring names. All right. Shogaku ite, we're going to the school. Origami o kodomo tachi ni naraimasne. All right. Origami o kodomo tachi ni naraimasne. Uh, what's going on here is naraimas is a verb to learn, and he's, he uses ne here as in we all know that what I'm talking about. Origami is origami. Kodomo tachi ni. This is we are learning from the students. So the ni particle here in verbs of exchange like this, verbs of giving, uh, the idea of teaching and learning, is the other person. So. Pretty sure they're not actually learning about origami from the kids, or maybe they are. Um, I mean, I know one kid who's really good at origami, and I would love to learn from him, but that stuff's hard, and it takes a long time. But, you know, little kids are like, I'm going to teach you origami, and you're like, okay, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, look, a crane. All right, here we go. 
皆さんは自分の国について写真を見せながら話しますね。写真を。はい、let me just back up a little bit. He says,、uh, 皆さんは自分の国に,つ国,国について写真を見せながら話しますね。All right, so that's this is new grammar.、Uh, Mina san wa, everybody, jibun no kuni about your country. And then this ni tsuite. After a noun, ni tsuite means、um, about. So about your country, jibun no kuni, your country, oneself's country, ni tsuite, about that. And notice how it's ni tsuite goes directly into a noun.、Um, so this, is, this operates without any sort of need for particle after it. Just ni tsuite. Whatever happens next.、Uh, jibun no kuni ni tsuite, shashin o. So, shashin is a picture. Miseru would be to show. However, this is mise nagara. So, the stem of the verb miseru, which is mise, plus nagara means while doing that. So, jibun、uh, no kuni ni tsuite, shashin o mise nagara. So, while, sh- wa-、uh, there we go. while showing a picture regarding your country, hanashimasu ne, you will be speaking. You will be speaking. About、uh, something, probably your country, while showing a photo. s It's probably plural sh- photos about your country. All right, here we go. Okay, great.、Uh, we have new grammar. So, wasurenai is to forget. Is, it's a group two verb, so it's just a nai at the end. Don't forget or should, you know,、uh, will not or do not forget your pictures.、Uh, now we have a negative verb coming here and we fill it up, we end it with yo ni sudu. So when we have、um, a negative verb, it turns into an e adjective. And、uh, this is also just a verb in general.、Um, th- these are verbals. When you do a verbal and you end it with yo ni sudu, it's kind of like. So, sudu can mean kind of like to act. So, act in a way. Yo ni is like in a way. Yo is a strange nominal because it's treated like a noun.、Uh, so, what comes before yo? What goes into yo is operates the way that you would imagine a noun would be modified. So, wasuda nai is an e adjective slash verb, and those go directly into nouns. However, after yo, we're going to treat it like a na adjective. So if、uh, instead of yo ni, we could have yo na noun.、Uh, so this is just a strange word. It's a, like a noun na adjective hybrid. hybrid. So, shashino wasuru na yo would translate to the way or the, 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 yeah, the way of not forgetting your picture, basically. And then this yo is being is turning into an adverb, the way that we've seen in other verbs、uh, in other listenings.、Uh, ni, if you take a na adjective slash noun and you put a ni after it, it has an adverbial nature. It turns into kind of like modifying the verb. So, shte. So, yo ni shte. If we have something before this and we say yo ni suru, it means to act in that way. And then he's saying, please. So please act in the way so as to, so to speak, so as to not forget your pictures. Please act in a way so as not to forget your pictures.、Uh, yo really means similar, similarly.、Um, you'll, you're going to see the word yo as、uh, similarly or in a fashion of, so to speak. So please act in a fashion so as not to forget your pictures, is kind of what's happening. That's probably the. The best, most literal translation, but that's not quite what's actually happening there. But let's not dwell on it much more. That's kind of the grammar. We're,、uh, in N4, you're going to have to get into agreeing that the grammar gets strange. Okay,、uh, after that, we have a origami. A origami wa shogakko ni aru mono o tsukaimasu. Sore kara. Doink, doink. Okay, so he, he paused and he says, a, Oh, a origami wa. As for the origami, so he's probably talking about the actual paper. Shogako ni aru. So the,、um, and then it goes into a noun, just like we said that we're doing this now.、Uh, entire sentences, aka clauses, when you have a mini sentence in, in, a, in a bigger sentence, that's called a clause. Shogako ni aru mono. So mono basically means stuff. So the stuff that is at the school. 
otskaimas. So when we have a clause, a verb, uh, when we have a chunk that ends in a verbal, so a verb or an e adjective going into a noun, we can translate it as the noun that whatever. Uh, it might it's it's it is better to think of it as we're modifying this noun uh, with the clause that comes before it in some way. Uh, but usually the way that is is the thing that whatever the clause is. So the stuff that is at the school. So shogako ni aru is at the school. Mono, the stuff that is at the school. O tsukaimasu. Uh, that is what we will use. We will use what is at. As for the origami, we will use what's at the school. Great. Uh, let's keep on trucking. Ni aru mono o that was the previous sentence. Here we go. Now we're starting with sore kara. Sore kara shogakko no tatemono ni hairu toki ni wa. Okay, so once again, we have shogako no tatemono, uh, the building of the elementary school. Ni hairu, to enter into the building. Toki, notice how toki is a noun. It means it, it means when, and here it's it probably does mean when, when you do something. It can also kind of mean like an if feeling, because in English, if and when have a similar function. So uh, once again, we have a clause, shogako no tatemono ni hairu, when you enter into the school, or you enter into the school, and we're using that to modify uh, the word when or time. So at the time of you entering the school, which is very literal because we have a knee particle here, at the time when you enter the school's building. Um, that would be the most literal translation. Basically, it's better translated as when you're entering the building. And it goes on. Okay, so he slurred that pretty well. Okay, so kutsu is shoes, nugu is to take off or remove clothing. So once again, we have a negative, nuga nai, nuga na kedaba nanimasen. Uh, so you must take off your shoes, you should, it's best to take off your shoes. It's unbecoming to not take off your shoes, kara, because of that. So because you must take off your shoes, slippa o motte itte kudasai. Slippa o motte itte kudasai. Please bring slippers. So, uh, motte ite is to bring kudasai or to take to a location. Kudasai is please do that. Sripa is slippers. No new grammar there. Uh, looks like they're hitting this nakareba nanimasen a lot for the N4. All right. This is probably going to be the last sentence. Or oh, no, there's two more. Never mind. There's a period right there. Ohiru gohan wa hitsuyo arimasen. All right. Great. Notice the wa here and the arimasen. So, uh, hitsuyo, I believe, is a na adjective, hitsuyo no mono. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's hitsuyo no mono. I can't remember off the top of my head for some reason. Uh, hitsuyo arimasen, it is unnecessary. Uh, the word necessary, uh, hitsuyo means necessary, and arimasen is not necessary. It is not necessary. It's strange to see arimasen functioning like des. Hitsuyo dewa arimasen seems like it could also work. But anyway, ohiru gohan wa hitsuyo arimasen. Uh, there is no need for lunch. As for lunch, there is no need for it. And we end with... Shogakko ga junbi shite kuremasu. Uh, where is that button? Shogakko wa junbi sh uh, shite kuremasu. Shogakko, the elementary school, ga junbi shite kuremasu. Uh, so shite kureru is to say to do for us, to do... It, it's very similar to shite kudasai, but it, it's not like a command. So it's not saying, please do this for me. It's more like, they will do this for you. It, it, it can be used in the second person or the third person. They will do it for him. They will do it for you. Please do it for me. Things like that. Um, Kudasai can't be used really in the second or third person. You can't say, you, please do that for you. That That's not how Kudasai works. Uh, kudemas does work that way. Especially with the tefram, the te kudemas. All right, so Junbi Sekurumas is they will prepare it for you. Uh, so the school will prepare the lunch for you. And the question one more time is Ryugakseiwa Shogakko ni nani o motte ikanakereba narimasen ka? Ryugakseiwa Shogakko ni nani o motte ikanakereba narimasen ka? What shall, what must, what is, what is it unbecoming not to bring <laughs> to the elementary school? Uh, what was it? it? was slippers and photos. 
if I'm not mistaken. Those were the two. Uh, let's see if that matches up with these. We have slippers and paper. Oh, this must be the origami papers. That's wrong. And then here we have the pictures and the slippers. So it looks like they're trying to trick you with slippers, origami paper, pictures, and sandwiches. The correct answer seems to be number two. I hope you agree with me. And because that had so many interruptions in it, I'm going to jump back to the script and we will listen to that one more time. One more time without me interrupting. That was pretty much perfect. Here we go. I'm going to turn off my microphone in case I sneeze or something like that. And I'll give you a closer at the end. Here we go. え、来週南小学校へ行って折り紙を子供たちに習いますね。皆さんは自分の国について写真を見せながら話しますね。写真を忘れないようにしてください。あ、折り紙は小学校にあるものを使います。小学校の建物に入るときには靴を脱がなければなりませんからスリッパを持って行ってください。お昼ご飯は必要ありません。小学校が準備してくれます。留学生は小学校に何を持っていかなければなりませんか? And I hope that helped. If you didn't want to see the script as you were listening to it, you can just do it again and close your eyes. Hopefully you're not driving. And if you are driving, what the heck are you doing looking at your phone? God, geez, don't kill everybody. I got children. I don't want you to crash into me. All right, hopefully that helped. Have a great day. Happy that be do. Peace out.